Hello, this is Dr. Scott with Soma Pediatric Sports Medicine, a think tank focused on creating a better primary care experience for youth athletes. This video is meant to introduce people to our idea and generate some feedback. We look forward to hearing from everyone and building a stronger startup team. With any business, you need to know where the opportunity is. According to the American Academy of Pediatrics, Council on Sports Medicine and Fitness, there's a large opportunity growing with youth athletes ages 8 to 21. Fifty-five percent of the people in this age group participate in sports annually. This is approximately seven million children spread around the country from areas like New York, California, back through Missouri, and down to Florida. Let's take Miami-Dade as an example. Over 105,000 athletes live in this county alone. In 10 of the top zip codes, there are over 32,000 youth athletes and only three pediatricians there to serve them. When you ask these kids what they want, they answer, better performance, fast recovery, and less injuries. How about the parents? What do they want? Well, they want more service. This includes improved access, better results, and more attention from their physicians. In fact, over 75% of these parents said that they would consider changing their pediatrician if they could find one that was more focused on their kids' sports interests. So parents are looking for sports-trained professionals. And it's not just for one season. 100% of these parents want their kids to participate in sports for the long term. The largest proportion of families report that they are able and willing to invest an additional fifty to one hundred and fifty dollars per month just to help their children stay in sports. Unfortunately, when families visit their doctors now, they're often disappointed, disinterested, and even their providers are uninspiring. These are some actual quotes from families. I'm frustrated with having an appointment at 10 a.m. and then not seeing the doctor until 11. I feel rushed and or not listened to when I express a concern regarding something. It seems as if the doctor comes in for 30 seconds, leaves, then the nurse comes back. We've had to take our kids to the emergency room because our regular doctor couldn't fit them in. This last quote is interesting because when you ask doctors, they think older children have fewer medical needs and don't need to see them as often. Interestingly, what we found is that patients don't visit doctors any less, they visit their doctors less. Look at these numbers, they're pretty amazing. 95.5% of all children visit emergency rooms annually. On a daily basis, over 10% of children choose emergency rooms over their primary care physician. And of the children that do have appointments scheduled, up to 25% of them aren't showing up. Now, it's no surprise, when you go to an emergency room, especially in a children's hospital, you may have access to some subspecialty care and you can go when you need to. Now these numbers are bad for primary care providers but they're even worse when you look at them for youth athletes ages 8 to 21. Greater than 90% of their visits to emergency rooms are injuries that can be handled in an outpatient setting. 46% of youth athletes who have an injury actively avoid going to their primary care pediatrician. And even though the 25% no-show rates are equal on among all age groups, the kids who are 8 to 21 aren't even going to their doctors. Youth athletes and all children ages 8 to 21 make up two-thirds of their pediatrician's census and only one-third of the actual scheduled appointments. So it's not just patients that are visiting their doctors less, it's youth athletes. So how do you compare a new business model to a current one. Well, one method of looking at business operations and how a business generates income is to look at where they try to lead their competition. 
some companies choose to be leaders in operational excellence and focus on reducing cost to customers. Some companies focus on being product leaders. They generate income by selling the best products at top dollar. Other companies focus on customer intimacy, also called customer service. These companies are attentive to the customer's needs and generate income by having recurrent use of services. This is where I believe primary care pediatrics used to thrive. Long gone are the days when your pediatrician was there at your birth, at your hospital bedside, and when you were college bound. Instead, pediatricians have focused on shuttling through patients to try and see as many in one day as possible. This chart shows how primary care pediatricians are product leaders because we have such an interesting access to unique knowledge sets. Unfortunately, operational excellence is seen as a higher priority than customer service in many situations. Soma Pediatrics wants to change this trend drastically. Where we are focused on building relationships with our families, being responsive to their needs and questions, providing value-added services, and of course the all-important recurrent use of services by our families. So this is what leads us to our current mission. We want to offer youth athletes and their families an alternative to fragmented medical care by providing a medical home with high value recurrent use medical service. And we'll do this by performing as a personalized medical team for primary care, sports medicine, and performance services. So what really makes our business model different? Well, there's the service, which will include at well child visits, sufficient time to address every issue on time. And when you feel like you're sick or have an injury, our offices will provide acute care services that include procedures. This includes laboratories being drawn in the office so families don't have to travel anywhere else, and rehabilitation services for sports injuries right in-house. And when will we be open? Seven days a week, with Monday through Saturday hours being 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. We also believe we're different because we're more profitable. In this age group, we have found that insurance companies reimburse at a higher average rate. Soma Pediatrics will also offer services like laceration repairs and fracture reductions which generate a higher reimbursement. Parents will also have more choices which leads to a tendency to select the higher value option and the highest one that they can afford. For example, patients receiving rehabilitation services can choose to add high-speed video assessments, kinesio taping, and even one-on-one -on -one performance training. This leads to the last component that increases our profitability. Recurrent visits that are incident to the physician diagnosis. Unlike a nurse practitioner who will just see an additional patient, our athletic trainers will be seeing our patients numerous times in order to provide high value recurrent services. Before we look at financial projections, it's important to realize that they are based on information from the Centers of Medicare and Medicaid Services, primary care offices, and extrapolations based on regional data. Income was conservatively estimated and expenses were estimated at the highest available rates in an effort to create a realistic projection. Over the initial five years, Soma Pediatrics expects to expand to two locations and generate a total revenue of $22 million estimated and expenses at $13 million. Profitability from an operational basis is expected at year two, quarter two, and return of initial investment, that's estimated at year three, quarter one. Currently, we have been able to explore these ideas in our think tanks. 
with over 900 hours of research. Our initial investment includes $960,000 in guaranteed services. This is great, but we need more. We require an additional $590,000 to initiate operations, and this investment yields 38% equity. And we're excited to discuss these opportunities with all interested parties. So the future, it looks bright for Soma Pediatrics. But we can only grow, and we want your help in doing that. So we welcome all of your questions and feedback. Please contact us at somapediatrics.com. You can also reach us through social networking with the information listed below. Thank you for your time.